All right guys, so I have a lot of work to do. I've got a director dish to remove off of somebody's roof. I'm gonna clean some gutters and uh, I'm gonna lay down some moss protectant on someone's roof. And what else? I'm putting up a fence today. Or I guess continuing a fence today. And uh, possibly something else if I have the time. So it's gonna be a busy day today. I'm gonna take you guys around with me and kind of show you what um, what the everyday kind of life of a handyman looks like and uh, kind of show you guys you know how I do certain things maybe there might be a more efficient or a better way to do those things that you can uh, you know mention to me in the comments uh, I'm always uh, willing to learn new things new ways to do stuff and and get better at my trade for a handyman, you know, YouTube is really kind of our college, right? Um, handymen don't don't know how to do every single thing there is to do. But what what um, makes us professionals is we know how to use the tools. Yeah. Anyways, let's get started with the day. I got um, some stuff that I didn't have uh, for this dish removal job. Some roofing cement or sealant. Uh, this one is wet and dry So which is good. It's all season roof patch And I got the sealant because after you after you remove a director dish off of a roof The shingles are gonna have holes the customer has extra shingles So I'll probably be removing the damaged uh, shingles and putting up new shingles And so I'll show you guys how I do that. Let's get started <laughs> Man's breakfast. Some gym. Need to get the job done, huh? All right. Just got up to the roof. There's the direct TV dish right there. Luckily, I don't even need a ladder because I have a patio right here on the second floor. I can just crawl over this fence and get to that dish. Um, these are the gutters I'm going to be cleaning. And then uh, after all of that, I'm gonna put some of the moss kill on the entirety of the roof. Let's get started. Now that the dish is off, I'm going to replace these shingles. All these shingles that have holes in them, I'm going to replace vice. Just putting shingle sealant in there. I just want to replace them all. That way there's no, no way uh, that this roof will leak. All right, now the shingles have had a lot of wear over time. So the shingles that... Uh, the owner has are the same shingles as these but they're probably going to be a little different color because they don't have as much wear so um, you'll notice that and that is normal 
Alrighty, I have all the old shingles um, taken out, the ones that are damaged. So now I'm gonna replace them and any holes that are in the actual roof, I'm going to seal up first um, with this roof seal. And yeah, and then hammer in the new, the, uh, new shingles. So, uh, I just finished up the gutter cleaning, the uh, DirecTV dish removal, and uh, the uh, moss protectant application on this house. And it took about three hours. My phone died uh, as soon as I got to the gutter cleaning and moss protectant application. But uh, I figured you guys probably don't need to see how to clean gutters. Moss protectant, I'll show you a picture. Uh, I was able to take a picture of it uh, while I was leaving so that I can show the client. And uh, really simple, it just comes in a tube, it's like powder, like sand, almost consistency. And uh, you put a zigzag line on the top, on the, on the arc of the roof, and in the middle of the roof, and then anywhere there's a protrusion from the roof, like a vent or, uh, or anything like that, you put some at the base of it. Um, and you don't need to apply it on the whole roof because the rain takes care of that. As soon as it starts raining, it'll wash all of that down the roof and, uh, and cover the whole roof. So super easy. Um, the moss protectant took probably about I don't know, 10 minutes if that, five minutes to apply on the, on the whole house. Uh, the gutters took about an hour, um, but they did have a lot of moss. And I mean, I, I pulled about 100 pounds worth of moss throughout their whole gutter system. Um, and that's not a joke. I mean, because the moss is like a sponge, so it soaks up all that water. And that's where most of the weight comes from. And then the direct TV dish removal took about an hour and a half. Yeah, so about uh, 450 almost $500 for three hours of work. Uh, that's not bad. Not bad. Um, I'm going to a fence project now. Um, I set the posts yesterday, and so now I'm just, um, it's, you'll see when I get there, but it's a livestock fence style, so not a privacy fence. Um, and yeah, so I should be able to finish finish all the fence panels today and call it a day. Let's get it. All right, so I got here, as soon as I got here, it started raining, but uh, I was able to get three, uh, well, I guess three halves in uh, panels. So this is that livestock wire. Um, this is the kind of the cheap stuff. Uh, they, uh, the, the customer wanted me to build a fence uh, under $3,000 total. That's labor and parts. So um, they didn't care what, what, what kind or anything like that. So I uh, went ahead and went with this style. I think those are like $11 a panel. Um, and then obviously the 
uh, ground contact wood. Um, it's not the cheapest wood, but it'll last the longest because uh, it's meant, it's really meant for fences. Uh, so what I did is I, I uh, carved a dado groove all the way around, kind of made like a picture frame for this thing to slide in. Now this is the cheap stuff, so it's pretty flimsy. It's not like the $50 a, a, a panel uh, cow, cow wire. That stuff's super sturdy and really you'd be able to slide this in and not even have to um, staple it in. But I've got these wire staples holding it in, in inside the dado groove. So really you won't even be able to see it uh, from the outside once I hammer these in. Um, just two on the side, two on the, or three on the bottom, and then two on this side all the way down. And then uh, once I'm done with that, I'm gonna cut this off and um, probably about an inch and a half, um, just enough to put a, actually just an inch, cause I'm gonna cut a half inch dado, dado groove um, down the two by four that I put on top. So uh, cut these off about an inch above the wire and then slide in the last, the top piece, uh, two by four with a dado groove and secure it underneath and, uh, and I'll be done. So I'm just going all the way down there. So super exciting. All right, well, um, yeah, it started raining. So I kind of, um, uh, I'm saving the, the rest of that fence for another day, probably tomorrow I'll go and uh, finish it up but uh, I, I did want to just quickly hit uh, a job that was close by it was a lady who uh, wanted me to uh, blow off all the leaves from her driveway and uh, so I went and did that uh, that was a super easy job uh, she does have a pretty long driveway but uh, it took me maybe 15 20 minutes and uh, she paid me $60 for it. So I uh, ended the day right around $510, I will say $500 total. And uh, that's pretty good money for a day's worth of work. Let's see, it's five o'clock right now. I didn't start my first job until 10. So that is only seven hours. That's a seven hour work day. So uh, that comes up to right around $80, $90 an hour. Um, yeah, so can't complain and I'm doing what I love to do. So that's kind of just giving you a little snapshot of the, the, the day in the life of a handyman. So I hope you enjoyed today's episode and I uh, look forward to posting more videos for you guys to watch you're into that kind of thing and yeah if I have any like big projects I've got a couple big projects coming up um, like installing hardwood floor tile floor and carpet all in the same house um, I'll make sure I get some pretty good video footage of that um, anyways I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and we'll see you in my next video bye bye